Hey everyone, I'm Rodney. I'm here with Board Game Geek Origins 2019. I've been joined by Chris, leader of Calliope Games, my good pal Chris. Chris, <laughs> you brought a game with you, Spy Master. Your mission awaits. Yes, that's right. So in Spy Master, Rodney, yes. we are all the leaders of clandestine spy agencies. They're always so clandestine. I know, they're always just, agencies. you know, okay. get out in the light. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you, you have to acquire intelligence and use that intelligence to move across the board, okay. maneuver your agents where you need them to, and also spend that intelligence in order to accomplish these missions that you find. These here? Okay. One per continent. So yep. you'll notice that each of these has a target city that it takes place in. And then okay. it has a recipe, if you will, a melange of different types of people who have to be there. So okay. there are your agents. So if I'm the purple player, right. you're my three different purple agents across. Okay. There's also freelance agents, which are the clear ones. Anyone can control those folks. They're easily bought. Okay. 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 Yep. So you need to get in the city that's shown the uh, combination of people and then spend a specific type of intelligence with this value mm -hmm. in order to claim this mission and get the points associated with it. Okay. Now, how, you ask, yeah. do you get this intelligence? Right, right. Well, this is an I split, you choose type of situation. So whoever is the spy master for the round is going to choose one of these stacks of intelligence and then they're going to lay it out in order. And for, for the sake of things, I'm sure. going to do it here. And you can't change okay. the order in which these cards come out. Right. And, and for the people who have problems with things being ups and downs, I'm very sorry about it's this. It's perfectly fine. But you will lay this out, yeah. and then the Spy Master will divvy these up. If it's three players, maybe they decide that these four cards are going to go together. Do you have together. to do them kind of in clumps? I yes, can't, I can't you cannot, go boop, boop, boop. You cannot yeah. change the order. Okay. Maybe I decide I'm going to just send these off this way. Yeah. So now I have these three clumps here, and then what I'm going to do is I would take that Spy Master card that you see there, yeah. and I would put it on one of these, meaning that whoever takes that file is going to be the spy master ah, in the next round. So another, another part of the offering here. Exactly. Okay, okay. So yeah, that goes there. So now starting with the player to my left, if I'm the spy master, they would choose one of these piles. Right. And then the next player would go, and yeah, I yeah. would get whatever is left. Which means when I divvied it up, hopefully I did a good job of not leaving myself with absolutely nothing, nothing right. to do. You make a pot too sweet, someone's going to take that. That's exactly left right. Yeah. Okay. And then once we have this wonderful intelligence, Mm. What we're going to be doing is, each turn, you get to burn one card and gain that many movement points. Okay, yep. The movement points can be used to move one of your units or one of the freelance units to a different city within your area of operations or continent. Okay. Yep. And then you can move, it doesn't have to be like one at a time, you can just jump to a different one within there. Right. Or if you want to travel to a different continent, you have to travel through airports. Okay, so sure. if I wanted to get this purple person over here, say to Montreal, yep. I would have to go one, one, two, and then three to Montreal. Got it, okay. All right? And, and then the spaces I, aren't blocked by the people. You can share spaces and all that. Absolutely, okay. and, okay. and you have to do that because right. the, the space you get to has to have that combination of people. Right. And that's what I want to do. So let's say for the sake of argument here, I'm looking to complete um, this protected diplomat here in Rabat. Right. And I need to get three of these freelance people over there. So maybe what I do is I spend this four so that, whoops, I knocked over this guy in San Francisco. So I can move one, yeah. two, two, three, and then maybe just to set myself up for another turn, I send one of my agents to an airport for next turn. One less thing, because I want right. to spend as much as I can. And now that I've got these three freelance agents there, I burn this five, which right, satisfies see, okay, yep, this, yep. so that I can take this and put it face down. And then my turn is over, and then we reveal the next card that's in that spot, and then it would go to the next player. Right. So. Each turn consists of burning a card for movement, and then hopefully, you know, after you maneuver, complete some missions. Right. You can always choose to pass. You can always say, mm, nope, I'm going to pass. Other players can go and it gets back to you. You can resume play. Okay. However, if everyone in order passes, yes. the round ends. Right. And then the player who took that Spy Master card now gets the Spy Master token, and they're the ones who choose one of these intelligence piles, and they divvy, divvy it up it again. the next round. Okay. Five rounds. Yep. At the end of that, you count up, you reveal and count up all of your point values for the different That's here. cards okay. that yep. you got. Yep. And in your hand, if you have some cards left, whoever has the highest value of each color 
in their hand right. will get a five point bonus. So if you didn't, if you couldn't do anything with it, or maybe you chose not to do anything right. with it, it you might get be some worth something that way too. Interesting. So it's it's a little thoughtful game. It uses the eye split you choose in a little bit different way. There's some area control that goes on here. And it um, looks like the this a good nice little summary of the rules here. So yes. if you know it, like just follow along here. And yeah, we don't need the some claptrap video, right? You know, telling you Waste how to time, play those things. things. You yeah. know, you know, you just, you don't watch it play. Just play it. I mean, who would watch that kind of thing? <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm Rodney Smith, and that was uh, Calliope Games and Chris Leader with, with Spymaster. Hey! You joker. <laughs> yeah, so, and when is this going to be released? This will be out in September. Okay. So we have a, a, a couple copies here. Yeah. Um, but yes, it is just arriving. We will have the whole thing in, in, in friendly local game stores. And number of players? This is two to six players. Two to six? Okay. And it plays about 30 to 50 minutes or so. Awesome. Well, if you enjoyed watching this video, because sometimes videos are nice to watch, uh, we, we hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> I certainly enjoyed it with you. We'll see you in the next video.